Okay, so question one, which one of the following is a definition for ICT? So you can see it's a technology used for the computation of information, technology used that are contemplation of information. All the answers there have um, ICT of some a description in it. But the one we are looking for is technologies that are used for the communication and information. So it's this one here, technologies that are used for communication and information. You click into it. So you can see it won't let you click in. These are called radio buttons. And it means that if I click into one of the other ones, it unselects the, the one that I'm in. So you click into the, the right answer and you click on the answer button. Once you click on the answer button, it'll load the next question for you. And once the question's loaded, you're not, that doesn't use up your time in the exam. So you can see the buttons there. You have navigate, skip, answer, clear. And then along the bottom here, you have your questions. Which one of the following is an example of a mobile technology? So you have an Android operating system, a Linux operating system, Microsoft Office, and Open Office. Microsoft Office and Open Office are two office suites. So they're used for actually doing office work like spreadsheets and budgets and that kind of thing. So you can rule them out straight away. But sometimes with questions, you might have to get rid of the ones that you don't know to leave the ones there. So you're between these two here, a Linux operating system and an Android operating system. Both are operating systems, but an Android is one that is used for mobile phones or smartphones. So you click into it. So it's a mobile technology. Which of the following is a computer, a tablet, a switch, a router, and a scanner? Again, with these, now these questions here, you will know the answer to them straight away, but you may have to rule the ones out that you don't. So you know it's not a scanner, it's not a computer. You know it's not a router. A router is the small aircom box you have or the internet box that you get from your ISP, your internet service provider. So then it's a tablet. So you just click into it and we click on the answer button. We'll keep going through it. Which one of the following is most likely to speed up a computer? Increasing the number of input devices, increasing the number of output devices, a processor with a higher capacity or a power supply with a higher capacity. Increasing the number of input and output devices, that's going to put more strain on it. Okay, Whether it's input devices like a keyboard or a mouse or a scanner or something like that, or an output device is more things that the computer has to work. So it's putting more strain on it, so it's going to be slower. Whereas putting a processor with a higher capacity will give the computer more power Okay, or more processing power. So it's that one, and you click on answer. The next question then, which one of the following can convert printed text into a digital image? So printed text is a page, so a page of text, and it's asking us which one can we use to put it into a digital image. So it's a scanner there. So a scanner will take a bit of text that you have on a page and transfer it into a digital file for you. And we click into it and answer. So you can see the, the way we are doing it. Every time we have a, an answer selected, we click on the answer button. It doesn't make any difference if you click on that answer button there or this answer button here. Both are the exact same. Which one of the following is an interface for transferring uncompressed digital audio and video data? Now, the most important thing there is audio and video. VGA will transfer video. So VGA cable is the one that you'll all have seen. It's a cable and it has a blue end on it. You know the ones that you twist into the back of your screen or your PC? That's a VGA cable. HDMI will transfer uncompressed audio and video. So it's HDMI, and it's becoming more and more common now for people to know what a HDMI cable is and what you would use it for. We click on answer. What is true about operating systems and applications? In our own words, we know that operating systems have to be installed first before you can install an application. So an application is something like Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel or Photoshop or one of them things. But we have to have Windows on first. So you need to look at the, the answers then to see which one replicates that. So if we go here, you can see applications are always installed first on a computer. Well, we know that's not true. Operating system is always installed first. That's right so far on a computer and then the applications. So that's the right answer there. So a lot of these questions, you'll know the answer in your head. You just have to look and see which one of them is the appropriate one then. We click on answer. Which one of the following is not an example of an operating system? Android, Linux, Windows, and Firefox. Again, you may need to root out the ones that you know are wrong. So you know that Android is an operating system, you know Windows is an operating system, and you know Linux is an operating system. So Firefox then is the other one. Firefox is a web browser used for browsing web pages. We click on answer. Which one of the following is an Office productivity application? 
Minesweeper, Chrome, Unix, or Excel. So Minesweeper is a game. Chrome is an internet browser. Unix is an operating system. So Excel, and we know Excel is used for doing spreadsheets and budgets. Which one of the following is not true? You can see they have in capital letters about an end user software agreement. So this is the terms and conditions or the T and C's. It is a contract between the licensor and the purchaser. It, is, uh, it establishes the purchaser's right to the use of the software. It contains offers to buy additional products to a reduced price. It may define ways under which the copy can be used. The most important thing is here it's not. So all the other ones are true, but this is not true. Okay, it doesn't contain offers to buy additional products. And click on answer. Why is some software called freeware? Because it's free from computer viruses. It's totally free from license restrictions. It can be used on any type of computer or it can be used without cost. So the one we want here is it can be used totally without cost. This free from license restrictions is open source. So open source software is free from licensing, whereas freeware can be used without cost. Okay, they throw that word in there to try and catch people out, the word free. What information has to be entered to securely log on to a computer? Name and address, computer name and IP number, username and password and credit card number. So it's username and password. Where should you click to log off or restart the computer? This type of question here is asking you to actually show the computer where you would click. So there's no point in going down and doing it yourself. What you do is you just take your mouse and click where you would go to log off, which is this button here at the side of the shutdown button. We click on it. You can see it puts that small green arrow. Don't think because it's green that it's right. It's green no matter where you click. So if I click out here on the right hand side, it's still going to be green. Okay. Go with the top of the arrow. You can notice the two of them are facing in a different way and we can click on answer. There is an answer button down at the bottom here, but we click on answer at the top. Which one of the following is the main purpose of a taskbar? To launch and monitor applications, to manage network settings, to shut down the computer or to uninstall or change a program. So it's to launch and monitor applications. So your programs will all go down in your taskbar down at the very bottom here. So we click into it and we click on answer. Which one of the following represents a folder? So you can see here A, B, C or D. So you can go into B, you can see it straight away and click on answer. So a lot of these questions you'll have them done in five or 10 seconds. Which one of the following is not a way to move a desktop icon? Select the icon and press on one of the arrow keys. Select the icon and select cut. Um, click, click on drag the icon or right click the icon and say cut. Two, three and four will let you do it, whereas one won't. So one is the right answer. Again, it says not, so just make sure you read the question properly. Where should you click to create a desktop shortcut to the selected application? So you can see here it has a, an application selected here. And what we can do is this one here wants us to actually right click on it. We just take the mouse and we right click the same as we would in everyday life. And we click on answer. The next question wants us to click on the status bar. So you can see this window here, we have a couple of different options. We have a title bar at the top. We have a menu bar here. We have a scroll bar at the side. Then down at the very bottom here, you can see we have a status bar. So this is the status bar. It's always at the bottom of the window and it shows the status of the window. Anywhere along there, it can do it. Okay, once it's in that box right across the very bottom, and we click on answer then. The next question wants us to click on the scroll bar. So you can see, I went for the right hand side here. We don't have a scroll bar there, but there's a scroll bar here in the middle. If they give you a um, question looking for a scroll bar, it will be present somewhere. So you may have to look around for it. And we click on answer. Where should you click to close the open window? So you can see this window's open here. Be sure not to click this red X. So this is the window from the program. It has happened people in the past. It's this open window that they are talking about here. And we just click on the red X there. And that'll allow you to close it. We say answer. Where should you click to switch to the Skype window? So Skype is open somewhere here. At the minute, we are in the computer window. So if we want to see the other programs that are open, we can go to our taskbar at the very bottom. You can see down here we have Skype and we would click on it. In everyday life, the window would open up with Skype for us then, and we click on answer.